Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is one of the biggest Fridays of the year on FC24. It is Black Friday. And buckle in, it's going to be one of the craziest days of content all year as well. I want to get you ready for it today on FC24. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We are, of course, on a different location than normal. I will be streaming today from a different location as well. It is the holidays over here with Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys who celebrate um, but that is why you're seeing me in a different place today. We'll be back to normal here very soon on the weekend. But let's get right into things with all the new content that dropped yesterday on Thursday. We had a brand new season with a lot of fodder packs, guys. This is what we needed, right? For those of us that are trying to craft SBCs, well, let's be honest. All of us are going to be trying to craft all the insane SBCs that get dropped during this whole Black Friday Thunderstruck promo scenario. Level 15, 83 times 20, level 20. Good packs. Level 25. Good packs. Another 83 times 20. Guys, there are three 83 times 20 packs in this whole season. It's only 27 days long. If you're looking to craft SBCs like the Play of the Month Mbappe, maybe the leaked Alan St. Maximin flashback, the leaked the Young Thunderstruck or the, the Dog Leash Thunderstruck icon card, the SBC that's going to be coming out. It is great that EA have put a lot of fodder packs in this season because it's going to help with the SPC grind so much. I kind of, I'm okay with it. There's no players in here and then it is all packs to be completely honest. Also, what I love about this season is there's a level 26 and an objective that is tied in with that, that if you get to all the way to the end of the season, there's actually still a little bit more to play for. You can go and get the level 26 badge, the rainbow snowflake, you equip that and then you have to just play games and you'll get some extra packs. I'm a fan of that. Also, the winter gifts in Park the Sleigh, it's the exact same thing in Objectives. If you're wondering where the winter sweater home kit is, guys, these are kits just like the icon kit from last season that is in the store that you will then, you have to buy, I think it's 60K to get the kits. Then you can get some more XP, which will get you to some of those fodder packs quicker. And I gotta be honest, if I'm ever gonna buy a, a, a kit from the store, it's, it's gonna be a freaking sick kit. Uh, like some of these are. So GG's to EA for dropping some pretty dope kits. Like, look at that kid, bro. That, that is pretty dope. I might spend 60K on that at some point, but I'm not too mad about the season. It's short. It is sweet. There's some decent consumables in here. And then honestly, just a lot of packs. There's even, if you want to take the option for a base hero pack at level 20, that that's there. You get a promo card player pick here at level 25 as well. And at level, uh, level 20 and 25. So that's nice. I'm, I'm a fan of that. EA giving us options inside of that season. I am fine with it. Now, speaking of the store, we have to talk about this. Guys, EA tweeted yesterday. I don't know if any of you guys had this show up in your companion app, on your screen inside the console. They gave back FC points and or coins. Let me double check and make sure that we're firing all similar. Okay, we are. They gave back FC points, and I can't imagine, like, this is one of the first times in my Ultimate Team experience that EA has given back coins. Like, I got this message when I loaded into the game because remember a couple weeks ago when EA tweeted this out and they took all the untradeable packs out of the store because they were showing us tradable, right? They have to fix this sort of thing. Whenever there's problems in the store, whenever EA make mistakes there, it is so crucial that they fix them because I think they can face, like, uh, that's their highest probability of facing some, like, lawsuits and stuff that could cost them money. So they have to compensate that stuff accordingly and kind of show that they did that. So if you opened any store packs that showed tradable that were actually untradable, you got your coins or points back. So a lot of people yesterday were getting coins and uh, FC points back. I think I got 50K because I remember opening one of those consumable packs that got you like the gold non-rares because we were doing the crafting objective back at that time. So I actually do believe that I got uh, some coins back yesterday, which was which was cool. So that was part of content yesterday. We had to mention it there along with the season because, guys, there's so much going on in this game right now. EA is going to be making mistakes. Watch out for more compensation type scenarios in the store with SBCs because that sort of thing is going to happen at this time of the year. Now, some other content that dropped yesterday, the daily login upgrade. They switched it, thank you, from 11 bronzes to just one. We love that. Today, we're going to be getting another daily login upgrade. We'll be able to get that done again. This SBC yesterday, it's a great idea, but the execution is absolutely terrible. Solo to squad upgrade, right? It is exactly what it sounds like. You turn in one player to get a whole squad back, but EA's making us turn an 85 rated player to get a gold pack with 11 gold players? Like, let me turn in an 83 or maybe even an 84 and I would take that. Uh, if you think about this from a straight coin value, technically it's not 
terrible because 85s are 7k and you're getting 11 cards back that are technically all right now 600 700 coins with the potential of packing something like it's not horrendous but it's not good that's the thing right it is unlimited repeatable but all of our 84 and 85 rated fodders are going to be going into other sbcs anyway like the 83 times 10 like the player sbcs it just seems a lot to turn in for a little now this is the sbc that everybody's excited about and it is honestly the sbc that's going to cost you and me a lot of coins over the weekend and 83 times 10 that seems cheap but it's actually not when informs are forty thousand coins a piece now the best part about this is you can rinse and repeat this it's repeatable three times a day and this is an sbc that people are going to be doing myself included to at least get a chance at packing something good we're going to talk about what's in packs but let's open one of these really quick 83 times 10 it's a german center defense kimmich come on for the boys it is not kimmich okay what i'm seeing for oh double walkout no way i have not seen many double walkouts oh i'm getting the juice who is the second one i needed this fodder it is odegaard bang 287s out of an 8310 is actually really good a lot of people i see from these getting oh my gosh i got three walkouts we're cracked a lot of people getting 83s 84s 85s the best part about this though as i was trying to say is that you can rinse it back in like let's say i got a bad pack right there all the 83s and 84s that i got i can rinse that back in the problem is getting an inform look at this tradable fodder club stock can't wait for those prices to go up we'll be talking about that but i like this sbc is very easy to rinse and repeat once you do it because you're getting a lot of 83s back that you can then put back in the SBC. So I'm a fan of that 83 times 10 and it's the informs guys. If we look at informs on the market right now, they're like 42,000 coins. As I said, that's going to be honestly a part of the market that if you time it right this weekend is going to be crazy for making coins because yes, you can pack informs a little bit easier right now with the team of the week, there's impacts and a best of. But there's still 40,000 coins a piece, man, because EA refused to update some of the price ranges of informs like Giroud um, in this game, who's 30,000 coins. And everybody wants to do that 83 times 10. So I'd be careful trading with these. Um, if you see some big dips in price and then, you know, around the content time when people can do that SBC again, they could spike back up. That's a movement that you could see, but they are up a lot. It is a crazy, crazy rise on informs this year because EA keep requiring them, but then they don't supply them into SBCs. That is the problem, but at least the content is good. I'm not gonna complain about that for sure. Now, also yesterday we had the first, I guess, well, it's not the first. We had a, another Black Friday challenge, like a Flash SBC. I was expecting more of these yesterday, to be honest. Uh, it's gonna be running out today. We're gonna see more of these though, guys. We're gonna see 100% more of these Black Friday challenges. And these SBCs, I have to point out again, if you are on a low budget, or maybe you just got this game and you're looking to make some coins on a low budget, look through what is making these SBCs uh, go up. Actually, solution trading is incredible with these. I just clicked on the Black Friday Challenge 1 here inside of Footbin. I went into the completed challenges, and you can see that, like the cheapest squad that is in here, it's, it's bronzes, right? It's bronzes that keep filtering to the top. And these bronzes, guys, since they're bronze rares and they're really rare, they actually, they're not cheap. Like if you go on the market, I doubt this 63 rated left back is 200 coins. When that when these refresh for the solutions, if you're on a low budget, watch these cards, their prices will continue to go up and down because it's probably going to be the same solutions that filter into these. You can make big time coins on these types of SBCs and there's going to be a lot of them that drop today on this game. So be watching for that very, very Closely. Now, also yesterday, we have to talk about this. They put more cards into packs as expected. But guys, I'm going to be completely honest. It's less cards than I thought because the way that EA or the way that Foot Sheriff made it sound was that we were going to be getting like 60 or 70 cards in packs, which maybe it does end up to be that amount. But uh, this best of campaigns release is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Of course, there are a lot of cards that are in packs now. Like we have an Mbappe in packs, an Mbappe SBC that is out. We have a Ronaldo special card, Leao. They put a nice team here. Rashford, Saka, Mendy's in packs, Holland, De Bruyne. It is a nice promo team of best of re-release. And of course, their prices are dropping. They will continue to drop 100%, guys. Again, this is my basis in this thinking is that we still have 
a lot of packs open this weekend. Like Cancelo went from 280 to like 220,000 coins, but the the majority of packs on this game are going to be open starting today. The majority of lightning rounds are going to be open starting today on this game. So I expect all the cards that are in this release to go down. I expect all the cards in the best of team of the week to be going down today because again, like I said, today is when the lightning rounds are going to hit. Today is when a lot of the supply is going to hit on these sorts of cards. It's going to be a crazy day on the market, and we're going to continue to talk about it here in just a bit. But let's move on into today. We're going to talk a lot about fodder today as well, guys. Don't worry. I know you have questions. I've got all my fodder. I even bought a little bit more because I think I'm going to do play of the month Mbappe. But let's get into today. Black Friday, Thunderstruck promo. These are the cards that we believe are coming into packs. Now, i got to say this for a second. EA on the loading screen, they showed a 93 rated card getting upgraded to a 95. Who's the 93 rated card here? Is Neymar going to be a 93? Is Vinny going to be a 93? I mean, who else in this promo team is going to be that? That If they're giving either Neymar or Vinny a 93 base version today, that is disgusting. Like, that means they're going to be upgrading these cards really, really good. And that's a huge upgrade. Like, I hope that's not just for show, EA. I hope that's an actual card. And if it's on the loading screen, then I think it is. One thing I do want to point out is that all the cards, it is now changed from what we heard before. All of these cards, since they are live, which is another crazy part about this, it's all about the, the next four games of their league domestic matches. For the women's and the men's cards, it's now the same. They get the same upgrade pattern, in-form upgrade with first win. Second win gets plus two play styles. And then if they win a third game in the next four, they get a second in-form upgrade. For the icons, it is just win one and win three for an in-form upgrade and for the play styles. And uh, that's, just, that's just crazy, man. Like... I can't believe that EA are dropping another set of live cards and the players that are in this promo team, guys. Again, these are big name players that will have a lot of hype. Gabriel Jesus, Rafael Varane, Alfonso Davies, Bremer, Frimpong, Fakir, Quadrado, Joe Gomez. The, there's Klosterman. There's so many cards in here that are kind of like ultimate team legends, if you will. And so many cards that are going to be really, really good in game and the fact that they're live too is like, wow, there are a ton of great cards coming out of this game this weekend. And uh, the one thing that I do want to mention is EA did say, or I guess Foot Sheriff said this in this very tweet right here. He said that there will be multiple mini releases. So we might not have all of these in packs today. So if you're waiting for like the ultimate, like best time to rip your packs from the store, it might actually not be today on this game. Now for the packs that are time gated, like, you know, you can open a 10 coin pack every day. Yo, what? That is a crazy pack design. What'd they do? I saw the hero pack was out. Oh my gosh, that is a crazy pack design. Go on EA. That's going to get a lot of people to open packs too. But like open the 10 coin pack every day because of course that's going to be coming out and you can refresh that every single day. Spanish left back. Is that Gaia? I'll take an 82 rated. Those are like 1.2 thousand coins right now. Boom. I'll, I'll take 1.2k man. Thank you. That's another 83 times 10 that I can do with that 82 rated card. Um... But yeah, just watch out for those sort of packs. But they're maybe the best time, right? We're going to get the icons in packs today for Thunderstruck. We're going to get the promo team. The best time to open all of your packs to wait until everything's in packs, though, might actually be tomorrow. That's one thing to kind of point out as well. And also, if you look at the loading screen, these cards are going to be in packs today early, guys. It's going to start early. This promo with the content is going to be happening um, I think it's four hours before the content drop today. That's when we're going to have the first pieces of content dropped in this game today is four hours before content. That's how it was last year. So whatever content time is for you, just think four hours before we're going to have the first set of cards in packs and then probably our first flash SBC then as well, or at least another flash SBC and also some of the first packs in the store for lightning rounds and stuff like that. And speaking of the store today, guys, once again, it's going to be madness. Like you think there's a lot of crazy packs that are in the store right now. This is just EA laying the groundwork, right? Putting out a deluxe 86. That's every day. Putting out this 450k pack and the 350k for the heroes. Like this is just EA laying the groundwork. There's going to be insane lightning rounds today with like two for one packs. Like the replay jumbo rare players pack lightning round. There's that massive pack that's going to be like 300,000 coins as well. That gives you like 90 players. That's going to be out as well. It's going to be a crazy, crazy time. There's going to be lightning rounds running almost all the time on this game today. 
it's going to be madness. And EA is going to get to sell so many packs because like you look at what is in packs right now and it's like, how do you not want to open packs? So GG's to EA. We'll be opening our SBC packs, not spending FC points here, but opening our FC packs or our uh, SBC packs and trying to pack at least something. Now let's talk about other contents coming today. Speaking of objectives and maybe even how it's going to impact the market, SBCs and objectives. We have a lot of SBCs coming. We've already had a couple of them dropped, like the Mbappe, but Alan St. Maximin, I think, is going to be our flashback today, guys. That's the biggest name flashback. Again, two years ago, we had Benzema. Last year, we had Messi. It just seems right that St. Max would be today. So watch your French links. Watch some of your Saudi League links as well. I don't know what the SBC price is going to be. Usually, they drop. I mean, I think Benzema was super duper cheap. If St. Max is super crazy cheap, that would be a card with so much hype in this game people would go absolutely bananas for it. So watch out, like I talked about Benzema uh, in a video earlier earlier this week, like the informed Benzema has already risen up in price since he's not in packs. And if you still have this card, keep a close eye on it because if St. Maximin is really good, he could go up further. If St. Maximin is not that good, he could drop a little bit. But watch your Saudi linking cards in general. Guys, we might have multiple player SBCs today. Like a De Jong Thunderstruck is leaked. Depay and Kuti Romero have all been leaked as Thunderstruck SBCs. We could have one of those today as well. Don't put it past the EA to, to drop just one SBC today for a player. It could be multiple, especially in a Flash SBC. That's happened before. So watch out for that. Uh, that's going to be an SBC that would, have a, that would have so much hype. A French winger. I mean, I'm sure they would give him a playstyle plus. I don't think his base card has a playstyle plus. If I can check... Really quick for Allen St. Maximin. The like technical dribbler would be perfect. Oh, he's got Trickster Plus. He's got Trickster Plus. He's got technical dribbler and quick step and flare. I don't know if they would change his playstyle plus at all. Um, but that is uh that's gonna be a big SBC, man. There's gonna be so much hype for him. And if he gets an SBC today, it's well priced. It's gonna make a lot of left wings or right wings, whatever position that he is. He can only play on the left with this card, but whatever position he is and can play, it's gonna hurt the market a lot in those areas, which is why I'm not a huge fan of investing in him uh, in Neymar, at least right now. I know the market's up a little bit in some areas. We'll talk about that. I don't think we missed out. But a couple more SBCs that could be coming. This is big. Dahl Gleesh is getting a Thunderstruck Icon SBC. Um, that's again, a live icon SBC. I think Balak is leaked as well. And then they leaked a flashback Oscar. So another flashback SBC coming. I don't think again, that all of these SBCs are coming today, but I could see two player SBCs. Uh, think about it. All the cards that have been leaked, like there's going to be so many cards in packs today. So many icons, so many players, and then also the SBCs that are coming. It's going to be an absolute madness on this game for sure in terms of the content, which is why I still like fodder. And we're going to talk about that here right now. I think we are going to get an objective player today as well. I would not be surprised. I mean, EA drop an objective player basically every single promo. So definitely watch out for that. Now let's talk about market, right? Some of the panic actually stopped yesterday. You're like, Nate, what is going on with some of these players? Because they're actually going up. Vinny has been our example this entire time, right? Vinny's going out of packs today. And I think this has some people going and buying his card. He's 600,000 coins. He was 540. He was 530, I mean, 560 even on Wednesday. And now we're heading to Friday. He's 600K. What is going on here? Guys, think about it, right? We've been saying it. We haven't seen the true panic yet because this game has not unlocked its full potential for Black Friday. Today is the day that everybody's going to be opening up packs. We're getting a Vinny. We're getting a Neymar special card today. If we get a left wing Allen St. Maximin, it looks absolutely crazy. People are going to compare that St. Maximin. Like the St. Maximin concept card that I just showed you guys uh, has 95 pace, 94 dribbling. Compare that to Vinny, which also St. Max's uh, concept has 84 shooting and 82 passing. That's like on the level of Vinny. St. Maximin could really make a card like this even move as well. You know what I'm saying? So we are really going to see the full movement of the market today on this game. I know that prices are back up a little bit, but I'm not worried because with all that is happening this weekend, I do believe there's going to be a lot more to shake up the market. Some more pick selling as people see all the SBCs that they want to do, all the packs that they want to open. And honestly, a lot of supply. It's going to hit the market as well for gold cards. That's why we're saying be very, very careful with golds. I'm not a huge fan. The only golds that I would maybe be a fan of would be a card like somebody who is getting is going, who is going out of packs. It's like fodder, especially for the people that are joining the game. A lot of people are getting on this game for the first time this weekend because the game is like 50% off on like Amazon and, and on 
all these websites, right? Like Varane is 10K and he's been 10K, but this is a starter center back that a lot of people would go to. I wouldn't be surprised if during, you know, the next week, Rafael Varane goes up like five to seven maybe even ten thousand coins as people get on the game and start building teams but again this is a card that's going to get uh probably hurt a lot this weekend as people buy other players for a team put other center backs in their team do other sbcs and stuff like that so that's why i'm still saying if you're wanting to buy a player for your team especially if it's in packs if it's a gold we're going to wait even if it's an out of packs card i do believe there's going to be some more panic on the market today um and throughout the weekend so i'm thinking still that we're going to be looking through like a saturday to sunday buy time scenario for any of the cards that you really wanted to invest in. Of course, we're still watching the pro live cards. Like some of these, of course, have games coming up soon. Like Mane's pretty low, Deli Ali pretty low still. I'm very interested in investing in the live cards like these and RTTKs, but I think we can still get some lower prices during the weekend. And then we have to talk about fodder. Guys, well, fodder, right? 83s, they're 2,000 coins. 82s, 1.2K. It seems crazy for me to say this, but I think it's gonna happen. If you can get 83s on bid for like 1.8 to 1.7K at all, like during the lightning round today, maybe it's before the content drop, you can get on bids for 83s. 83s are gonna be so in demand because of the 83 times 10 and being able to do it three times per freaking day with everything that's in packs. I think I will get on bids for these cards. I mean, try to get them even at like 1.9. Like they could even go higher throughout the weekend. The supply is gonna hold them in check from rising a lot, but they probably will go up. Same thing with 84s, same thing with 85s as we continue to get more and more SBCs. And on the high tier, yesterday, I mentioned that I bought a couple of fodder cards. I actually went on some bids at the content drop yesterday and picked up a couple of 90 rateds at like 52K because there was a little bit of supply yesterday and they had a little bit of a dip. They went down to like 54 and you can get them on bids. If you can get 90s anytime this weekend for like 52K, I would buy them because I think they're going to go higher. People are going to do the Mbappe SBC and maybe the, the Dog Leash SBC as that comes out. Any of these other Icon SBCs that could have 88 and 89 rated squads. Um, so watch out for that. Get those on bid because those seem to be moving the most right now. Like 89s and above and informs seem to be moving the most on the market. But I'm still holding all my fodder, guys. I'm still holding everything. And to be completely honest as well, I'm lazy listing it. And take a look at this. I, I lazy listed it a couple times yesterday as I was not checking the game like at all. I sold a Bernardo Silva for 35,000 coins and a Trippier for 11k. Like as I'm lazy listing uh, all this fodder and all this stuff that I have here, I probably should list these Malins a little bit higher. But like I'm just listing at random prices. And I've gotten a couple of lazy sales. I cleared some other ones that I had already gotten as well. Lazy list your cards because today is a day when people are going to start doing SBCs as they open a lot of packs too. So make sure you are listing your stuff up constantly, constantly, all the time. Um, but I think it's the low tier that's going to be in the best amount of demand. Of course, depending on what other SBCs we get today. I actually think that the uh, Icon Pack... But pretty sure that the icon pack is refreshing today as well. And that SBC, of course, is going to have hype. Max 89 icon upgrade is an 83 and an 86. So I'd watch out for your 87s. Your 88s could move a bit for that. And then your 82s and 83s in Team of the Weeks are going to move a little bit of, uh, for that SBC as well. And then talking about the rest of the market, the rest of the market is going to be an amazing place to trade. Now, one thing I want to point out is the new Thunderstruck cards, since they come out early, a trend that has happened in the past couple of years uh, last year, there was a Hyunmin Sun Road to the World Cup card. Since these cards come out early, there was an incredible opportunity with this card where it was really low heading into the content drop. And then um, it actually rebounded after the content drop when everybody thought it was going to go down. It actually went up because it was very rare. It was a card that people wanted to try out. They opened their packs um, and he didn't get supplied that much because the big top tier cards aren't going to get supplied a ton today. That's just how it goes. So watch for maybe on the really rare cards that are in the team today, a low point at content and then maybe rising a bit if they drop a lot from where they started out since the cards are coming out early today. So I'd watch for that. But if you're just looking around the market today and you wanna make coins on some flips, watch out of packs promo cards, right? Maybe Triple Threat, maybe FC Pro Live, anything that is not in packs right now that you think maybe, maybe it's just a French card that you think would that go would go up a little bit because it links to the Allen St. Maximin, or it's just a very popular card in general that is out of packs. Like there will be some of these cards that have really good fluctuations. Icons will have good fluctuations today. 
if you're looking to just trade with a couple of cards make sure you make it make it a rare card for sure and make sure you just know what's in packs right like oh my goodness Ferland Mendy's 830 well yeah he's in packs Rashford's 1.1 yeah he's in packs so watch out for those cards and then watch out for the promo team today too these cards will be good to trade with I, guys I have to say like I don't expect a promo pack weight to be insane but I expect the lower tier of this team since there's a lot of cards I expect them to be somewhat cheap like Joe Gomez, Quadrado, Ansu Fati, like that Ansu Fati card with 95 pace, that's going to make some waves if he's in the, uh, the game today. That's just going to be a card that people would maybe sell something they have in their team to try and go and get. The fact that it's live, Premier League team and, uh, and upgrading, like that's a card that so many people are going to want to get their hands on. Overall today, guys, there is so much excitement for what is going to be going on in packs and the rest of content. There's going to be great opportunities to flip cards. It's all going to come down to timing. So just watch the timing of rare cards and just kind of think about what people are going to be buying because there still is weekend league today. People are going to be playing that. Of course, you're uh, going for the wins this weekend to get the, uh, the Evo slot opened up in the uh, objective section as well and again like i said there's a lot of people that are coming onto the game for the first time so watch the lower tier too watch your lower tier of cards uh from maybe the recent promos or just big name players that have out of packs promo cards that you think are very popular that that could move today on the, on the market in this weekend that'll be a place to be trading but honestly guys today for me is going to be a day where it's spcs it's packs it's craft we'll watch the market we'll watch the new cards it's going to be just absolute madness of content today. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys on a stream, Black Friday stream today. It's been Nate's Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace. Out.